sometimes and I'm apologizing. I feel bad. I just promised to myself that I'm going to try to post at least a few times uh, a month, but I have not. Um, thank you, though. Somebody write me a few, few inspirational comments. I've been uh, inspired many times and a lot to, cre to create a different uh, videos for you. But unfortunately, I have been really busy with my job and I was not able to create those videos. But I am back here. I am ready to deliver, guys. I'm ready to give you some another interesting video today called Responsible for the Other People Opinions. So I was inspired by someone. Uh, this is my best friend that is in Italy. Ciao amore, questo video è per te. Uh, she make me realize that we actually spend a lot of time investing uh, in doing things or correcting ourselves or behaving in a certain way, serving other people, uh, doing things for others, and sometimes often things that we are not happy to do, things that we are not pleased to do. And the reason why is because we want them to have good opinion about us or because we feel responsible for their bad opinion. Okay, so uh, in this video, I want to tell you few seven things, seven reasons why you should not care and invest time and energy in changing other people's opinion okay the number one thing you're not responsible for other people's opinion this is not your job and why is because you have to understand that other people twist everything through their head their life prisma to their perception, to their world, to their intelligence, if they do have intelligence or cultural or intellectual baggage. So they twist all the reality through this prisma, like the eye, you know, when the light go through the eye, it get twisted and rebounded. And this is how you see objects. So the same thing with how other people see you. This doesn't mean that you have to be a bad person and the worst version of yourself. But you have to understand that it's not your job to change somebody's way of perceiving you and seeing you because this is very close to impossible, number one thing. But the second thing is that you cannot change other people's opinion about you. And I will tell you the only time that you actually can affect somebody's opinion about you is when you stop to care. Unfortunately, when you start not giving a F about what our people do and do what you think is best and feel proud of yourself, you gonna have this power of who you are, of what you do, of your choices, and the other people's opinion wouldn't matter that much if that makes sense to you. You would not be so focused on changing other people's perspective about your opinion or so and so on. Number two, you cannot change other people's opinions, okay? You have to accept that you're not responsible. You cannot change nothing. You have to accept this. Uh, and uh, don't feel bad if other people talk bad crap about you or, or, or maybe you're not on your best fine life. Don't feel bad if other people judge that you're not at your highest or not at your best. Let me tell you something about those people that spend time talking crap about you. They probably have nothing else going on in their own life. Their own life is miserable and they just feel more successful talking crap about you. So why you want to give time to someone like that? This person is not worthy it by itself doing something like that, right? Number three thing, and I think this is a mistake a lot of people do, they sit down and suddenly somebody come and try to serve them all these opinions, all these negative critics and so and so on. Okay, you don't have to listen information that you didn't request. 
a lot of parents like to feel goddess and never admit some kind of a mistake and when they call their children this is like exactly what my mom do she will call me and tell me how many thousand things are wrong with me instead of starting to take care of her own life so if people call you to tell you something like that the best thing you can do is say i love you thank you have a good day i'm real busy bye bye if you start cutting those type of nagging negative conversations you're gonna see that you're gonna feel inspiration and power in yourself okay just knowing that you're not obliged to listen to something that you're not interested in number three thing why i advise you to number four number four thing about this that you don't have to listen is because if you listen negative things they are going to affect you you're gonna feel bad responsible and guilty yes there is a lot of people that are great manipulators and they will guilt treat you from now until they are alive listening negative things especially constantly without asking someone it's it's like called a verbal abuse you know in the modern countries so and it have a real effect on you unless you do something terrible towards someone for example i have this one person in mind he has been terrible and i've been trying to help him and then i try to ask why he behaves like that he tried to attack me telling me that i'm a bad person because i uh, dare to talk about something like that so if on the other side you cannot have a conversation conversation is communication you gotta cut this crap out and just understand that your emotions after hearing your parent or whatever friend or fiance undesired opinions if your emotions are not positive if you don't feel inspired to get a better person and so and so and so on you gotta change something you gotta listen to your emotion instead of suppress them you gotta listen inside and see what you can change now here today in your reality in order to twist the situation and make it the way you want it and let me tell you something about that some people have hard time to listen right some people doesn't believe you well i, I have similar problem with my father figure and once i actually show him with actions that i'm not gonna accept anything like that not only towards me i'm not gonna listen any negative crap regarding my sister brother mother and whatsoever i have to silent him for some time you know few quite long years i will tell you but i will tell you the results was and are marvelous because he get it he get it that around me he cannot do this crap so you're capable even in the most desperate case to change the reality around you you do have a power you just have to uh, believe in yourself number five accept the reality the way it is okay it's not your job to go and do things somebody will think that you're a good person that you're worthy that you're successful tra, 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 tra. Uh, a lot of people invest entire life to create to work for this good opinion of someone you know uh, they spend the money they do things they they make such an effort to deserve this good opinion okay a lot of manipulative parents consciously criticize their children in order to make children to pay for their parents life uh, for example my mom tried to play this game on me she's lazy to work and she's like oh i'm old i want to relax well you have pension honey you can relax what did you build in your life so that you want so a lot of parents will play this manipulative game on the children and i have some other person in mind that they make you responsible to be a good daughter and for them a good daughter or a good person include you doing something for this other person you taking the responsibility as a parent and taking care of your sister or your brother or you being a good person mean doing things for your fiance and all these kind of things in order to get this good opinion of the others and hear this bravo very often 
when we are busy to change other people's opinion this means that we don't love ourselves we don't respect ourselves and we don't see our own value your opinion about yourself must be the number one thing in your life in your existence here now and today what you do what you say you gotta stand behind it and earn it even if it's the worst thing and like yeah i'm ashamed to to say i act like that but i believe this person deserve it and i'm still proud of myself because i had to respond in a way that is not typical to my nature just to settle a boundary for example yes i know sometimes it's not pleasant to say rude things and to be sharp with people but if you're always nice people doesn't get it right uh and then very often this manipulative tactic about my opinion and about giving opinion freely without being asked is a tactic to make you give something again and again and again for example my friend i have a story somebody shared with me that her mother even she's 30 or more will constantly in charge her of responsibility to support her sister or brother or something like that in order uh, for her to be a good person uh, a good sister a good daughter or otherwise she's not this is also manipulation to earn love as well my opinion matter and it better satisfy my expectations so it's a good to have an expectations it's a good to have a, like standard but you have to be the first one standing behind this standard right and then you don't have to change no one's opinion this is number seven because this is not your job again i repeat other people's opinion especially if it's negative because i i, I think honestly i i could tell you honestly like in my entire life i haven't heard like somebody tell me something good about me a lot of people will invest time to tell you crappy things about you of course except my best friend Ina she will tell me beautiful things and I love her for that we all like to hear beautiful things about ourselves but most of the people will be focused on giving you this negative crap so just remember other people's opinion is not your life it's not your job it's not your business for example if you ask uh, I remember I asked someone about something and they responded to me and I was very grateful because they were honest and I said why didn't you tell me earlier and they said to me it's not my job to come and tell you something like that because I don't want to offend you and I gained some respect for this person I was like oh wow so having in mind that some people opinions can have value for you for example if you want to know about multimillionaire life and you go to ask a homeless person opinion and they give you these crazy ideas what do you think that opinion will have any worth and any value and any realistic ideas or if you go and ask a multimillionaire how to build wealth so you gotta have more realistic idea about people's opinion and you have to filter you have to filter and put boundaries and if somebody is below your level in some in certain matters or in certain questions for example you're educated in business education and somebody that have a high school try to teach you how to do business you understand that it's not going to be a very successful or someone let's say who is a cleaning lady and want to teach you how to to build a startup you have to be able to filter people's opinion if as often parents go and do and give opinions without being asked but these parents are not expert not expert people will come and drown you in their desperate opinions because they have nothing else to do so say that thank you for being here i am back i'm planning to be here please do like share subscribe write me a comment below i hope this video was useful for you and yes in my hair i have prepared different meditational videos i am going to make them i promise you they are gonna be amazing just stay tuned i know it's just very few people forgive me guys that i haven't been so good in following on this channel but i am going to do so from now on 
Thank you for being here and have a great day. Bye-bye.